Good morning, it's day eight. I'm just cycling to Winchester train station to catch the train. It's raining on me. I'm glad I've got no more official climbs today, but they've cancelled my last train from Reading to Castle Carey. So I've got to figure out what we're doing with that. Otherwise day eight might still be cycling back from Reading. <laughs> not ideal. Not the way my legs feel. I'm not just going to rain, but anyway, today I'm going to go through my kit list, show you what I've got in my bags, and uh, hopefully answer some questions that you may have already posed. Yeah, big shout out to Rob and his groupetto there for giving me a tow, a very much needed tow. And uh, Rob the legend stayed back and pulled me for a bit and even nearly got dropped by his own group. So thank you very much, Rob. That was very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, my Achilles is screaming at me. So what are you doing? Well, after what I've done for you last week, what are you doing? <laughs> nearly 40K an hour. Oh, and... Uh, the Damani here, with all these bags on the front. Doesn't like cornering in the wet. Made it a bit difficult. But anyway, we're nearly halfway to the train station. And another bloody hill. Will I Got cry? enough hills. Will I leave behind Broken and crumbled signs Hiding all my roads to you If I fight, will I come to life? Calling for all your light, giving all my heart to you. Uh oh. And I've been falling, I've been lost, and I've been calling on my God. I made it to the outskirts of Winchester. Just got dropped down to the train station. There's some lovely roads coming in then. Uh, Route 23, there was an Audax going on, there was a bike race, loads of cyclists. So despite getting through part one and part two, I've made my way to Reading. The 1301 is cancelled, but it looks like the 1328 is available and it is a fast train. So I'm going to be 12 minutes later than original, so that's not too bad. But again, I've booked bike space on the first two trains and there weren't any. So uh, it's not going very well. Every time I book a train, I never find that reserved bike space. But we're about an hour away now. like that we are back home 
when can we do the next one? <laughs> right, let's take you through what I've got in all these bags. Right, so let's get into it. Bag number one, the fort bag full of my clothes. What's actually in the bag? Well, my rain jacket, just in case there's a shower. We've got a pair of shorts for when I get to camp. We've got a t-shirt for when I get to camp. We've got my spare base layer. We've got the cap, which I wore to keep the sun off my head or the rain, as it actually turned out. A buff, which I wear under my helmet as a sweatband. I had a pair of trousers with uh, detachable knees, um, just in case it got cold. Uh, we had the rain jacket, which took up most of the bag, to be honest, and that is bag number one. All right. Bag number two, I will do the bag I had on the front with all my electrical equipment in. So we had loads of wires in here. Oh, we had, not very well organized, but we had GoPro charger and the plug, which I used to charge everything in the mains. Uh, we have my phone slash camera cable. We have the Insta360 cable, battery pack number one. We had backlight, just in case I needed that. I think that was actually on the bike. Ooh. Two handy hip locks for when I was um, locking the bike up, as well as my cafe lock, which also helped lock it up. Front light, just in case I needed it. Then we had the remote for the alarm. Spare GoPro batteries. Uh, I had a handful of spare um, microphone batteries. And that is bag number two. Uh, in my back pocket, I carry a wallet, which has got uh, my cash, spare microphone parts. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got memory cards, more memory cards, just in case. Uh, pretty much all my cash and little bike parts. I have a, a little chain splitter, just in case my chain snaps. All right, so the saddle pack, this is the one that goes on the saddle. This one had my towel and then basically the whole tent stuff. So the whole camping stuff is in here. So we've got, ooh. so we've got tent pegs. We have got pillow, uh, an Outkit Nuomi mattress, which uh, is very comfortable. Packs up very small. There's the tent pegs. Uh, that's the ground sheet that goes under the tent. The tent itself. And the inner sleeping compartment all in that bag. And right, so in the handlebar bag, which clips at both ends, uh, these are the bits I attach over the handlebars to pull it away from the gears, but we've got spare kit shirt we've got spare shorts and a sleeping bag which is an outkit cloud peak 140 um, right the other the other fort bag was simple as had my camping stove in it and a food musette just in case I needed to carry any food items and the rest of it was food which obviously I don't have now um, there was a pot noodle in there. There was some coffee bags, some sugar, some powdered milk. Uh, I had my vitamins in there as well. Um, and that pretty much anything I picked up that I needed to snack on during the day. Obviously on top of that, I had my own base layer, buff, another jersey, shorts that I was wearing. And then I had my uh, Castelli Gile, which I kept actually in the saddle bag. Right, so in the frame bag, we had my toiletries, which was shower gel, a bit of pseudocreme, saddle sores, sun cream, uh, shavers, contact lenses. I had some um, insect repellent and some plasters. Pretty much it, really. Boring toilet.
toiletries. Uh, we had the main power pack, which is uh, an energizer. It's a 20,000 amp one. So that basically charged everything. So the GoPro, the camera, my phone, the Insta camera, my watch, and my Wahoo for four days. Uh, boring toothbrush. I had some more plasters in there just in case and some spare straps plus my spare inner tube is in there in the bottom pocket the bottom part of it is where I kept the GoPro when I'm riding I pull it out when I need it it's not my main camera it's the one I do the flybys on uh, so that sits in there and there's another pocket the other side which I've got the carbon rod in that goes on the front of this mount which then obviously I can attach the Insta360 and film me going up hills uh, water bottle was in there and I carry my phone slash main camera in there so it's just easy to get to and that just sits in there and that is basically everything I carried which I estimate at 25 kilograms so that's the trip done and dusted I hope you really really enjoyed it all eight days I'm definitely keen to go again I don't know where yet but I'm hoping France um, I might be able to take Pete with me um, that probably be next year might do a few overnighters I'm trying to sort out where to go but absolutely love bike packing I've had a whale of a time um, been back quite a while now it's taken me a while to get around to doing this video editing all the other ones first but I absolutely loved it I've forgotten the pain of all the climbs um, but I definitely won't be doing as many climbs next time if any uh, but what a great way to spend a week bike packing somewhere new, uh, the camping element, having everything with you and just being able to ride your bike and keep going and keep going and keep going. I absolutely loved it and I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you've got any questions, stick them down in the comments. So we will see you in the next video. It is raining but all I can see is the summer